guys welcome back to the audio girl africa channel once again and like i said i'm just going to show you how to briefly do a multi-track recording on logic pro x so follow me guys okay so i have my logic pro x opened and then you have where it's asking me to choose um whether i want to do a software instrument maybe create beats or um do an audio so i'm clicking audios and since i want to do a multi-track recording what i mean by multi-track is that um, you have more than one track okay so you have like about two tracks or three tracks right now i'm actually because i'm using a mix mixer that has a 32 channel input um, let's let's assume that i'm doing a 32 input track or 32 tracks um recording that's like a multi-track recording okay so i click that and then you can see from the it asked me for the number of tracks and i'm doing 32 okay so and um it's um i am my recording like from the last video we did and then i create okay so as i create you can see i have all everything is up here and you can see that there's a mic in front of me that you can see picking signal so this is the mic i'm going to be using to record myself they okay so um definitely when you have a multi track like this audio one to like um 32 you definitely need to name your tracks okay so right now i'm just going to name each of these tracks according to how i've named them on the multi on the sorry on the mixer so let's go on Okay, so now that I've named all my tracks, okay, and I have uh, amped my recording. So because I'm only recording on, I have all my tracks up to number one to thirty-two ready. So now I'm just, I just want to try record. I'm just going to amp the recording for um, the mic that I'm using, where you have um, the signal coming up. With. You know, when I when I took out the um, recording. When I took out the recording, you can see that there's no signal coming in. But when I enabled recording, pressing the R, you can see that red um, um, red icon showing. You can see that from what I'm saying, you can hear. So let's just record what I've been saying. Yes. Pardon me, that wasn't supposed to come in because I don't like having metronome come up in my uh, recording. So I'm just going to take out, um, my, I'm going to my metronome settings okay and take out click while recording take out click while playing take out the folio clicks i don't want any clicks while i am recording okay so let's go so so understanding multi-track recording when we say multi-track it means that you're doing two different um two more than one or um, rec um tracks you're recording more than one track so now i have a 32 track channel um routed to my daw so that means that if i have all of this um channels playing definitely i would need i would see what uh, i'll see them being recorded the way this lead mic is being recorded okay so right now you can see what is going on now and then i want you to just try it out it's very simple maybe during church service you can just decide that okay you want to make a recording or you want to record some you want to just um, help out with your sound recording in church and you have um, like record what your pastor has said and all you can just um, use logic it's quite simple just have everything routed properly and then connect your your system to your um, mixer find a way to connect it to your mixer using the um, USB to MIDI port cable and then you're good to go so if you have any um, question you can just leave us a question below in the comment section and um, 
If you like this video, you can also just um, subscribe to our channel. 